Hello, so welcome to today's video. This is Kat. We can see she has a beautiful canvas of blue hair. She's had her color now for about six months, you said, or a little bit longer? Yeah, well, yeah, six months. A little longer. And what kind of blue did you say is on there again? Arctic Fox. Arctic Fox. So, one, blue has one of the largest pigment molecules, so they're really difficult to remove. Our end color that we want to do with her today is, we're going to use two shades. Cupid and Blush from Pulp Riot. We're gonna do a different chunky highlight technique. A lot of you had watched our pinwheel one and loved it. And the thing with that one is it takes a really long time to foil, so you may not have that kind of time in the salon when you're doing here. So today we're gonna show you a really quick way to apply it. Before that though, we are gonna test a new color remover. This is the Paul Mitchell Pop XG Reducer. I've read some reviews on it online and it says it works pretty good, so we are gonna try it today, and if it doesn't do what we need to do, we're gonna resort to a Pravana color remover because we know that that's gonna work pretty good. So in order for her color to show through, first thing we have to do is remove all the blue. We might need to remove the blue, we'll probably have to use the color remover twice, and then after that, we're gonna have to go through with bleach, lighten out her roots and her ends. Truthfully, for these colors to really look on tone, we have to get her as close to a 10 as possible. That being said, we wanna keep her hair in the best health. We want to keep a lot of the integrity, so we're going to see what we need to do as it goes along. We might have to adjust it. Lastly, we're just going to be trimming your hair. What's really nice about having color like this that's a little faded is you can see, easily see, where the split ends have gone to. All this really, really light stuff is dead. That's where the splits have traveled to. I don't think we're going to be cutting all of that off. We're just going to be trimming it a little bit, but and then maybe just giving your hair a little bit more shape. So we will be right back with the color remover. Okay, so here we are. What we're going to do is apply the color remover. I mixed it. I used 20 vol with this and it mixes kind of chunky, which I think is weird, but it's not breaking down, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to start applying it from the very bottom. And then I'm going to go through, apply it through the rest of the hair. I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like at the 20 minute mark. So here is the color remover all applied. You can see it's starting to lighten a little bit. It's only been a few minutes. We'll check back in at the halfway point. So here's what the hair looks like. It's been about 25 minutes. We can see that some of the blue is gone, but it's still fairly blue. We'll see what this looks like in about another 15 to 20 minutes. So here we have the first layer of the Pob Mitchell color remover washed out. You can see that it did take out some of the blue, but there's still quite a bit of a blue hue. So we are going to redo it. This time we're going to do half Pravana and half Paul Mitchell. One thing to note about the Paul Mitchell stuff is you can see how much it bumped her roots where it was natural. So this is something you really need to be concerned with when you are wanting to keep the natural root. So we'll be right back after it's all applied. So in the name of testing, we're actually going to do half the head in Pravana color remover and the other half the head in Paul Mitchell color remover. So here we're putting heat on the half with Pravana. On the right side is the Paul Mitchell color remover and then on the left is Pravana. So I do think that the Paul Mitchell side has some form of bleach or something in it because it has bumped the roots quite a bit more. This side was what happened from before. Uh, the Pravana side feels a little bit stronger, but this side doesn't feel bad at all. But I do think it's bleached, that's how it got so much more of the color. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and take Schwarzkopf and Blommy, apply it to the bluest parts, then I'm gonna do the roots, and then I'm gonna put it on the ends just for a little bit on this side, because this side just has a little bit of r remaining pigment left that we gotta remove. So this is what her hair looks like right now. We did have to wash off the first layer of bleach. The ends were already done, and this part was probably about a level eight. So we washed everything out, well, maybe about a nine. And we re-put on short scoff blonde me with a 20 vol. And now we can see it's processed evenly. So one thing I wanna point about this, oftentimes when we're bleaching, we see a little bit of remaining pigment and we wanna bleach it out, and that really ruins the integrity of the hair. So even though it's a little stained when you look at it, it's actually very white, it's a level 10, so it's gonna be good enough for what we need it to do. 
So this is what it looks like with the second part of the lightener washed out. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna create more of an even base. So I'm gonna take a 10 violet just to neutralize out some of this and turn it a little bit ashier so it, it's a little closer to this color before I put the pink on top of it so that we get an even result from root to end. So now here's your hair with the toner washed out. You can see it's all a little bit more ashy and all nice and light, so this should color nice and evenly. So here we are, you can see her color is pretty fluid root to end. We do have a little bit of staining, but that should be okay. So now I want to do a chunky highlight pattern, different than what we did before because not all clients can sit all day, although Kat's already been sitting since noon and it's like seven o'clock at night. <laughs> so what we're doing is crescent moon shapes, like this. Um, you want to v vary the amount the sizes. So this one has about an inch section, this one probably has about half an inch. It's all going to originate from where her part is, so I'm going to point that out when we get up there. First I'm just going to start with this section. We're going to do this part up dark pink like this. So this next little crescent moon is a smaller one and we're going to do this a lighter pink. Now the reason why I started with this section is I wanted to be, it's just behind the ear and I want to be able to lay the sections on top of it just to keep them nice and clean. So you're going to notice with these sections, they're smaller and, well they're all varying in sizes, but the one I keep around her face, they are a little bit smaller because you have to visualize what you want. There's no right or wrong answer to do it, but I want the soft and the top part that everyone sees to be a little bit softer than the rest of the hair. So also what's significant is now Kat is someone that likes to wear a very extreme part. So she likes to wear a very extreme part from the left over to the right. So what you want to do is make sure that right on her part, both a little piece from both sides of the part are in this section so that when she parts it, you're going to have a little veil of color on both sides rather than having half of her head look one color and half of her head look another color. So this one we wanted to keep the veil light so we're going to do this, this pastel -y color. Perfect. So now I'm going to go through and finish off the rest of her head and then I will show you what it looks like afterwards. So here we can see that the color is processing very nicely. We're just about to rinse it and then we'll be back when we're ready to blow dry. So now that her hair is pretty air dried, what I'm going to do is run some replenish through her ends. shine to her color. I'm going to put a little fixed root boost into her hair. So here we are. It's finally done. We are 10 hours into the hair and actually we finished at 10 o'clock last night. It was too dark to even catch this color. So Kat had to graciously come back today so that we can catch it. You can see that there is a beautiful cascade of color. 
nice chunky streaks that go throughout but no stripiness. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We do release new videos every Friday. And if you want a cheat sheet of the pattern and the formulas that we use, just put your information into this link right here and we'll send it out to you. Bye!